navigating risky terrains with sparse footholds poses a significant challenge for humanoid robots that require precise foot placements and stable locomotion. Existing approaches designed for quadrupedal robots are generally not generalizable to humanoid robots due to differences in foot geometry and unstable morphology, while learning-based approaches for humanoid locomotion still face great challenges in complex terrains due to sparse foothold reward signals and inefficient learning processes. To address these challenges, we introduce Beam Dojo, a reinforcement learning RL framework designed to enable agile humanoid locomotion on sparse footholds. Beam Dojo begins by introducing an instantiation-based foothold reward tailored for polygonal feet, with a double critique to balance the learning process between dense movement rewards and sparse foothold rewards. To promote sufficient trace and error discovery, Beam Dojo incorporates a two-stage RL approach. The first stage relaxes the terrain dynamics by training the humanoid on a flat terrain and providing it with task terrain perceptual observations, and the second stage fine-tunes the policy on the real task terrain. Moreover, we implement a built-in LIDR-based elevation map to enable real-world deployment. Extensive simulation and real-world experiments show that Beam Dojo achieves efficient learning in simulation and achieves agile locomotion with precise foot placement at sparse footholds in the real world, maintaining a high success rate even under significant external perturbations. Beam Dojo incorporates a two-stage RL approach. In stage one, we allow the humanoid robot to walk on the flat terrain while simultaneously obtaining the elevation map of the task terrain. This setup allows the robot to imagine walking on the real task terrain, while walking on the safer flat terrain where missteps do not lead to termination. Therefore, during phase one, proprioceptive and perceptual information, locomotion rewards and adhesion rewards are separated, respectively, the former is obtained from the flat terrain and the latter from the task terrain. The double critic module learns the two sets of rewards separately. In phase two, the policy is fine tuned in the task domain and the full set of observations and rewards are used. The double critic module undergoes deep copying. The robot centered height map reconstructed using LIDAR data is combined with proprioceptive information to serve as input for the actor.